Early animal development involves four stages: fertilization, cleavage, gastrulation, and organogenesis. Fertilization brings the haploid nuclei of sperm and egg together, forming a diploid zygote. The acrosomal reaction is triggered when the sperm meets the egg. The acrosome at the tip of the sperm releases hydrolytic enzymes that digest material surrounding the egg, which is then penetrated by growing actin filaments. Next, the fusion of the sperm and egg depolarizes the egg cell membrane and sets up a fast block to polyspermy. Or the fertilization of egg by more than one sperm. Fusion of egg and sperm also initiates the cortical reaction, which stimulates calcium release from the endoplasmic reticulum, and a rise in calcium stimulates cortical granules to release their contents outside the egg. In sea urchin, the cortical reaction lifts the vitelline layer away from the egg and hardens the layer into a protective fertilization envelope. In mammals, the sperm has to travel through the zona pellucida, the extracellular matrix of the egg, in order to fuse with the egg. The activation of the egg is triggered by a sharp rise in the calcium concentration in the egg cytosol, which increases the rates of cellular respiration and protein synthesis by the egg cell. Sea urchin has been used as a model animal to study fertilization. However, it differs from human fertilization in a couple ways. In sea urchin, the egg has completed meiosis II before fertilization, whereas in humans, the egg is arrested at metaphase II before fertilization. First division in sea urchin takes place 90 minutes after fertilization, while in humans, it takes place 12 to 36 hours after fertilization. Fertilization is followed by cleavage, a period of rapid cell division without growth. During cleavage, the cell cycle consists primarily of S and M phase. The G1 and G2 phases are essentially skipped, with little or no protein synthesis occurs, and as a result, there is no increase in mass. Cleavage partitions the cytoplasm of one large cell into many smaller cells called blastomeres. The blastula is a ball of cells with a fluid-filled cavity called the blastocoel. There are two main types of cleavage: holoblastic cleavage and meroblastic cleavage. Holoblastic cleavage is found in eggs that have little or moderate amounts of yolk, such as in sea urchins, frogs, or mammals. Whereas meroblastic cleavage is found in yolk-rich eggs, such as reptiles and birds. Holoblastic cleavage involves complete division of the egg, whereas meroblastic cleavage involves incomplete division of the egg. This is due to the fact that yolk slows the completion of cytokinesis. In human development, ovulation releases secondary oocyte, and fertilization takes place in the fallopian tube, creating zygote. As the zygote travels down the fallopian tube, it undergoes cleavage from two cell stages to sixteen cell stage, known as morula. Blastocysts form five days after fertilization and implants into the endometrium seven days after fertilization. Following cleavage, gastrulation rearranges the cells of the blastula into a three-layer embryo called a gastrula. Gastrulation in sea urchin takes place in four main steps. First, mesenchyme cells migrate from the vaginal pole, the pole with more yolk, into the blastocoel. Next, the vaginal pole buckles inward in a process known as invagination. Endoderm cells then form the archenteron, the future digestive tube. This opens through the blastocoel pore, which will become the anus, and a second pore, which will be the mouth. Therefore, sea urchin is classified as deuterostome, which means second mouth. Gastrulation in the frog begins when cells on the dorsal side invaginate to form the blastocoel pore. The part above the crease is called the dorsal lip. Cells continue to roll over the dorsal lip by involution. Which forms the archenteron as the blastocoel shrinks, leading to the formation of three layers. The endoderm is the innermost layer, the mesoderm is the middle layer, while the ectoderm is the outer layer. During gastrulation of a chick, the epiblast or the upper layer of the blastoderm moves toward the midline of the blastoderm and then into the embryo toward the yolk. The midline thickens and forms the primitive streak. The movement of different epiblast cells give rise to the endoderm, mesoderm, and ectoderm. In human development, at the completion of cleavage, the blastocyst forms. It contains the blastocoel, a group of cell called the inner cell mass, which will later develop into the embryo, and trophoblast, the outer epithelium of the blastocyst. When the blastocyst reaches the uterus, 
Trophoblast initiates implantation seven days after fertilization. An extra embryonic membrane starts to form 10 to 11 days after implantation, which includes yolk sac that encloses yolk, amnion that encloses the amniotic fluid, allantoid that disposes nitrogenous waste and contributes to gas exchange, and the chorion or the outermost membrane that functions in gas exchange. After gastrulation, organogenesis takes place in which various regions of the germ layers develop into rudimentary organs. In vertebrates, the ectoderm develops into the epidermis, the nervous system and sensory system, the adrenal medulla, jaws, teeth, germ cells, and the pituitary. The mesoderm develops into the dermis of the skin, skeletal and muscular systems, the adrenal cortex, the excretory and reproductive systems, and the circulatory and lymphatic systems not written here. The endoderm develops into the endothelial lining of digestive tract and many internal organs, as well as thymus, thyroid, and parathyroid glands. Neurulation refers to the folding process in vertebrate embryos, in which the dorsal mesoderm develops into the nodal cord, the dorsal ectoderm develops into the neural plate, and the neural plate curves inward and forms the neural tube, which will become the central nervous system, including the brain and the spinal cord. Neural crest cells develop along the neural tube and form various parts of the embryo, including nerve and teeth. Mesoderm lateral to the nodal cord forms blocks called somites, which will develop into the vertebrae, muscles, and bones.